<laughs> giving me kisses right now. He was ready for TV. But yeah, he is safe. He is okay. Doesn't even have a scratch on him. And that is thanks to his owner who fought the bobcat off. He got, he got away lucky. Coda is one lucky dog. Paul Broadhurst was walking his daughter's dog Saturday morning when he says a bobcat came out of the woods and attacked them. How was the bobcat on Coda here? As he was walking down the sidewalk here, that bobcat come out and just right over top of him. Uh, and like I said, he no sooner got there and, and I ripped him off. Broadhurst jumped into action and saved Coda. He has scratches to prove it. The bobcat, and he clawed in to be pretty good. Uh, and I end up actually having to punch the bobcat in the mouth to get it off of me. Uh, and then got it back, you know, got it on the ground and it took off into the tree line. Broadhurst lives in the Stony Brook neighborhood in Orlando. His home is right next to a conservation area. Frank Robb with Ears.org, an environmental and education awareness nonprofit, says scary encounters like this are happening more often. When homes get built, uh, these, wild, these wild areas are being taken away. You're going to see more and more conflict like this with, uh, with wildlife. It's only going to continue. Need to be very aware of your surroundings, know, understand where you live. He believes the bobcat could have been hungry or was fed at some point by humans and became comfortable near people. Or it might be rabid. The list goes on. Why it happened doesn't matter as much as how do you keep it from happening to you. Carry something to put as a put between you and said animal. Be aware if you see something that doesn't belong, turn around and go a different direction. Broadhurst says he would like the bobcat trapped and moved away from his neighborhood. This is a very high traffic area. People walk their dogs, people have their kids. Uh, and if that was a kid, you know, there's a lot of small kids in the area. Uh, one, two, three year olds. Uh, and, if, and if a bobcat were to get on, on those, it, it'd be, it would be a bad outcome. The expert that we spoke with said if you are walking near a wooded area, it might be helpful to have something like a walking stick because that could be a barrier between your dog and a wild animal. FWC tells me that they are investigating. Reporting live in Orlando, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News. We